Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. You are welcome to the word of God from the short word for today. This is the audio narration of the written short word for today's daily devotion, published daily and sent to our subscribers. If you are here for the first time, I will be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends and social network. I want to thank you for sharing. Our mission is to deliver God's word in spirit and truth. Things might be rough with you now, but it is not your entire story. Don't make decisions when you are not mentally capable because you will come to regret the decision when you are okay. Your current condition is not your permanent position. Time is of the essence. Change is on the way. Your present condition is not permanent. Could you not make it permanent? God is the author and finisher of your faith. He promised that his plan for you is to bring you to a fruitful end. God will turn things around in your favor late in the midnight hour. Don't you ever give up. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. You can have everything in life you want if you will help other people get what they want. Stop complaining about the people you help that didn't return the favor. God never assigned that they will return the favor. You were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Expect the best. Prepare for the worst. Capitalize on what comes. In the end, God will make all grace abound towards you. God bless you. The affirmation for this week's sure word for today. God has assured me with his word. Today's title for the sure word for today's series is God and his word, part 7 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of John chapter 1 verse 1. Quote, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Unquote. The word of God does not return void. Every spoken word does not return void. Your word has the power of life and death. It is essential to speak life. So, when the word comes back to you, it will bring the adverse of what you said. If your words are negative, you will averse a negative outcome that is pressed down, shaking together and running over. Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 and 11 quote, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it." Unquote. Rain and snow are part of a clinical water process. Precipitation comes upon the earth, drains into the land and produces excellent benefits in the growth of crops, the refreshment of souls and the sustaining of life. Rain and snow come from above and do not return above without accomplishing their purpose. God compares his word to the rain and snow because, like the precipitation, God's word always fulfills his good purposes. God has an intention for his word. That is why he said his word would not come back to him void. Like the rain and snow, God's words bring forth life and produce good fruit in our lives. Through his word, we know that God loves us and that Jesus died to free us from sin and death. We also learn how to live in light of 
those truths. We are encouraged to trust God and abide in His word. Hearing Him saying His word does not come back to Him void. God is convinced and sure of the purpose of His word, and this gives us the confidence that the word will work miracles, signs, and wonders in our lives. We abide in the word of God allowing it to absorb into our lives, soaking it up as the ground soaks up the rain and snow. We have reached the end of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled God and His Word. Please don't go away. The Sure Word capsule is next. The Sure Word capsule is God's creative power. Welcome to the Sure Word capsule. A capsule it's a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The sure word capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. You will be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the sure word capsule. Please confess after me. I am a person of integrity. I am a person of integrity. With the right attitude and specific goals. With the right attitude and specific goals. I have high energy. I have high energy. I am enthusiastic. I am enthusiastic. And I take absolute pride. And I take absolute pride in my appearance. In my appearance. And what I do. And what I do. I have a sense of humor. I have a sense of humor. Lots of faith. Lots of faith. Wisdom. Wisdom. And the vision. And the vision. Empathy. Empathy. And courage. And courage. To use my talents effectively. To use my talents effectively. I have discovered in me the many deposits of talent. I have discovered in me the many deposits of talent and I am valuable in all walks of life and I am valuable in all walks of life I have character and I am knowledgeable I have character and I am knowledgeable my convictions are strong my convictions are strong and I have a healthy self image and I have a healthy self image a passion for what is right a passion for what is right and a solid hope for the future and a solid hope for the future i am an honest sincere hard-working person i am an honest sincere hard-working person i am strict but fair and yet sensitive i am strict but fair and yet sensitive i am disciplined motivated and focused i am disciplined motivated and focused I am a good listener and patient. I am a good listener and patient. But take decisive action. But take decisive action. I am bold, authoritative and confident yet humble. I am bold, authoritative and confident yet humble. I am an encourager. I am an encourager. A good finder. A good finder. An excellent communicator an excellent communicator and I am developing winning habits and I am developing winning habits. I am a student, a teacher and a self-starter. I am a student, a teacher and a self-starter. I am obedient, I am obedient, loyal, loyal, responsible, responsible, dependable, dependable and prompt and prompt i have a servant's heart i have a servant's heart i am ambitious and i am a team player i am ambitious and i am a team player 
I am personable, optimistic, and organized. I am personable, optimistic, and organized. I am consistent, considerate, and resourceful. I am consistent, considerate, and resourceful. I am intelligent, competent, persistent, and creative. I am intelligent, competent, persistent, and creative. I am health conscious, balanced, and sober. I am health conscious, balanced, and sober. I am flexible, punctual, and thrifty. I am flexible, punctual, and thrifty. I am an honorable person. I am an honorable person who is genuinely grateful for the opportunity. Who is genuinely grateful for the opportunity life has given me? Life has given me. These are the qualities of the winner I was born to be. These are the qualities of the winner I was born to be. I am fully committed to developing these marvelous qualities. I am fully committed to developing these marvelous qualities. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. I am delighted because I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. I am delighted because I have another opportunity to make the best of the day. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am my superhero. I am my superhero. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to anyone. I will not compare myself to anyone. I am a loving person. I am a loving person. I am purposeful. I am purposeful. I am created with divine intention. I am created with divine intention. I feed my spirit. I feed my spirit. I train my body. I train my body. I focus my mind. I focus my mind. It is my time. It is my time. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. And today, I am choosing happiness. And today, I am choosing happiness. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. And I accept the best now. And I accept the best now. I get things done fast. I get things done fast. I never put things off. I never put things off. I am a doer. I act quickly. I am a doer. I act quickly. I am motivated to finish my tax. I am motivated to finish my tax. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I am a proactive person. I am a proactive person. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. We have reached the end of the Shoreward Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Shoreward Capsule. Please visit www.theshoreward.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also request a Shoreward Capsule to be created for any challenge you are experiencing. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please don't forget to share this audio devotion. You have been inspired, motivated, encouraged, and empowered to become the person God created you to be. For more encouraging words of faith, inspiration, and the resources to overcome your challenges, 
subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. You will be the head and not the tail. You will rise above your challenges because you are more than a conqueror. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.